pleasant good morning welcome to what is now video number five yeah at this juncture we're heading to the market to pick up some fish which is going to be wonderful considering we've been eating pretty rich for the last few weeks this is a recipe i picked up from a roommate of mine by the next time we check in hopefully we should be by the vendor getting some beautiful fresh fish hopefully you guys enjoy see you in the next frame peace let's go <laughs> start of the vlog we have been eating really rich for the last few weeks so we got this beautiful beautiful cocoa from the market the proper English name is butterfish and as you could have seen the guy did all the cleaning and everything for me for the most part so now I'm gonna add a little bit of lime in there lemon ready to cut the fresh of the fish Nobody really wants to be eating fish that's smelling of fish. You know what I mean? It's not pleasant. So you want to get all the way up in there. Dig all the way up in there to ensure that it's thoroughly cleaned out. All the stuff that you know you're not going to eat, gut it out. What you might have missed, because yes, you might be very thorough. Oh. But it's always good to pass a second hand yourself, so you know you have only you to blame if it goes south. You dig? seasoning yeah so we're gonna add a little dollop of salt quite a bit of lemon pepper yeah Was making a little rub for the fish yeah quite a bit of lemon pepper the lemon and fish it just makes sense quite a bit of black pepper we're not gonna over complicate this too much as far as dry seasoning is that up, give this nice little rub, alright, we're going to add a little bit of oil, add it up, up, add it just to make sure everything gets nice and coated, both on the inside and the outside of our fish, yeah, very good that everybody got cleaned up, yeah, Mushrooms going right inside of 
filter the scent filter is so nice I mean look at it absolutely beautiful okay. let's just taste it see if it's cooked all the way through fish really doesn't take that long to cook so it should be in theory ready to go mm. let's come on don't run away Mm, so so you taste those pimentos I need to stop picking at this fish I really do mm. so we're gonna move to plating oh my god so good wonderful so now we finished our cooking our fish definitely not overcooked which is important you don't want to overcook your fish yeah get a nice texture mmm so soft this rice is a mixture of paprika and coconut milk. Mmm. Captured all of those flavors as well. Really a perfect pairing with this fish. And this provision mash, which I really just came up with on the fly. It has sweet potatoes, green figs, and some pumpkins. A little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of normal milk in there as well, full cream milk, some cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne, and some raisins. Mmm, can't forget the side. Very different, but quite satisfying. I'll put the ingredients for the mash in the description as well. Mm. I'm gonna get to eating. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Yeah, so this just happened. While I was editing, well, this Sunday's vlog, I realized that I didn't close off the vlog. So, um, again, if you got in this far, thank you so much for checking in the video number five. We really appreciate the feedback we've been getting, especially the very specific critiques we got from various other channels and people. I really appreciate all of that. And in closing, I just want to say eat well, live well. Peace. <laughs>